So the other day I was watching this show called Live to 100, basically about places around the world where people don't die. Like check out my boy Ramiro ride this horse. I bet you can't guess how old he is, 101. I don't even think I could ride a horse like that, guaranteed, but I'd sure like to. Now what do all these places have in common? Well, they all follow an all natural diet. My diet isn't the worst, but it's far from Ramiro's. So for the next seven days, I'm gonna be eating all natural. We have spawned at Whole Foods. Nothing organic about the way they empty my wallet, but definitely not necessary for the grocery haul, but just given the theme of the video, it just feels right. Let's go. For this grocery haul, I only have one rule. It needs to be one ingredient. No, that doesn't mean sugar counts goofballs. It has to be foods that come naturally from the earth. Over $20 for this tiny piece of steak. Were these cows fed from the Garden of Eden? <laughs> what the f I then went on to grab some salmon, chicken breast, beans, and eggs. $8.99 for a dozen eggs. I have to be lower on the food chain than I thought I was. Like, <laughs> Next up, produce. And I started to stock up because I knew majority of my diet was gonna be fruits and vegetables. Squash, 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 squash. Has anyone seen a grapefruit this big? What the heck is this? I have to get it. Facts. Which nut do I want to milk? I'm thinking almond. Well, my cart looks like I'm gonna need a high powered bidet to get me through the week. But we got the main staples. Now it's time to see if we can find some snacks, which I highly doubt. As I was looking for my snacks, I started to wonder how often do I truly pay attention to what I'm eating? As society becomes growingly health conscious, food brands have become better at marketing their products as healthy eating. There's so many options that look good at first glance that I'd probably pick only to find out they're filled with additives. Literally nothing in this aisle I can eat. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for a snack. And you know what? I feel like I have a better chance of finding a snack at the pet store across the street than I do here. It's actually insane. It's really eye-opening to be honest. Wow. Excuse me, sir. Do you guys have any all natural snacks? Uh, all these snacks are like that. Are they are? Yeah, all of them. Okay. So apparently this entire wall is all natural, so you think. Because when you look at the front, it looks pretty good. Then you read the back, and I'm pretty sure that Mother Nature did not grow maltodextrin and citric acid on trees. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is just all nice marketing. Honestly, the government wants us dead by the time we're 80, and that is being generous. Even the tap water tastes artificial these days. I'm on a rant right now. I can keep on going. Meal number one already has me feeling like a health guru, is this even what they do? I'm not entirely sure. But we have three whole eggs. The eggs were $8.99. I did not have it in me to toss the yolks. We have some tomato slices and half a Japanese sweet potato, AKA the potato of immortality. It's pretty much a staple in the Okinawan people's diet, which is one of the five blue zones in the world. It smells delicious. I can't wait to get in. Oh man, she is sweet. I don't think I've ever had an $8.99 egg in my entire life. Oh my God, man. I've been eating bottom feeders my whole life. <laughs> this entire week, I am not gonna be tracking calories. I'm gonna be eating till I'm 80% full, which the Okinawan people call harahachibu. I'm more of a stop when you feel sick kind of guy. Like gluttony is my emotional escape. So this definitely should be interesting. Day one starting weight is 198.2 pounds, not expecting much to change in terms of my weight and physique, but I am interested to see if my energy, mood, sleep, and especially my skin will see any improvements. Since today was an off day from the gym, I decided to move my body by going for a walk. People in blue zones don't usually go to the gym for their daily exercise, but rather their activity is built into their everyday lives through gardening, going for walks, and other daily chores. So you really have to pick extra years or extra inches. What would you pick? Comment down below. I know what I would. I'm gonna walk by this rather quickly. <laughs> Lunch, I had ground beef, cauliflower rice, and some veggies, which was delicious. And then a few hours later, I already ran into my first problem. Guys, I'm hungry and I want a snack, but I have absolutely nothing. And no, I don't want fruit. We will cut open this dragon egg another day. And don't you dare look at your top right. Don't you dare. But it seems like my only options between meals are either fruit and vegetables. It's all, it's, it's, it's very intense and I definitely underestimated this challenge. Um, yeah, it's overwhelming. It seems like if I want milk, I gotta find a cow. If I want nut milk, I gotta bust one out by hand. I think my only option is to go online and search for snack recipes and then I can make them if I want any chance of surviving this week because this is just, wow. 
So immediately I went online and found a website with a list of tasty looking snacks that I'll start making throughout the week. Katie and I went absolutely crazy for dinner tonight. We made homemade chipotle bowls. We got the homemade rice. Well, it's not homemade, we bought the rice. With some black beans, homemade guacamole. We got the steak from Whole Foods, which I regret buying. And then we also have some sauteed peppers, onions, and some broccolini. And then we have this chopped up tomato cilantro with some salt, all natty, all delicious. I feel like my chipotle bowl should be in a magazine, don't you think? I, I really think. Mmm. Mmm! Oh man, that steak. Good. Yeah, it just melts in contact with my mouth. Fun fact, I've never had steak in my life. You're being judged right now. I think you're the first person to have salmon. Ah! Get your Go. steak fork away from me! You're the first person to ever have salmon on a Chipotle bowl. I doubt that. Thank Comment you. down below if you ever had salmon on a Chipotle bowl. No one, not one person had so much beans in here. You know what that means? Dessert in the Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. I taught him what that was. She did, yeah. I gave you your first Dutch oven. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still here. After dinner, I tried the pineapple snack from Whole Foods, and for the first two seconds, it was actually pretty good. But then, it tasted like the brand relies on a perky blonde to actually get some sales. It was like they were trying to undo every donut I've ever had. So I let Katie try to confirm my thoughts, and she agreed. Good morning, day two. For breakfast, I'm having Japanese sweet potato, salmon, and three whole eggs. I don't think that I've ever had a salmon filet for breakfast before. Once I finished my breakfast, I began to prepare for the gym and I completely forgot one thing. So I'm just getting ready to go to the gym right now. Came in here to get my typical supplements and then I just realized I can't just not have some of it. I can't have all of it, like nothing. So I guess there really is no such thing as a truly natty bodybuilder. So I'm just gonna have to rely on this pure H2O. Really not expecting much to change this week in terms of my training. Perhaps I might get some more energy towards the end of the week because when you eat lots of processed foods, foods high in sugar, refined carbs, pretty much empty calories, it really does take a toll on your energy levels and your mood, meaning you're not performing at your highest capability, meaning you're leaving gains on the table. So if I end up keeping this going for maybe a couple of months, I might unlock some serious strength and energy. You know what they say, you don't fill a Ferrari with the worst fuel. The best cars require the best gas, just like the best and healthiest bodies require the best food, and hopefully the occasional donut. One thing that I've noticed right away is how much better I perform in the gym when I only eat till I'm 80% full. I feel lighter, I feel less sluggish, and I feel like a lot more sharp, kind of like the feeling you'd have when you fast. And I think that's because I'm just not spending so much time digesting all this unnecessary food. So it feels really good. Back from the gym and we are making our first all natural snack of the week, which is a baked almond butter banana boat. It's in the oven right now and it was super easy to put together. First thing, grab a banana, then peel it. Please don't smack it. Then cut a line down the center of the banana and use a spoon to create a well for the almond butter. Next, add a thick coat of almond butter like it's sunscreen at a nudist colony. Top it with cinnamon, roll it in tin foil. 375 degrees for 15 minutes. The smell of this thing is crazy. So the girl said it should put a smile on my face and my tummy. And man, it's so beautiful, I, I wanna swallow it whole. This is called a snack. However, there's probably more calories in this than my typical lunch. Like there's enough almond butter on here to seduce a Great Dane. Like all natural snacks, all natural recipes in general are not low calorie whatsoever. Here we go. Go for the tip. Wow. My toenails are curling. You know what the key is? You need to have an old banana. They are so much sweeter than the ones that come premature. Nine out of 10. Obviously, if almond butter is on it. Put almond butter on anything. It's going in me, likely. This is also the closest I'll get to a protein bar. I'm craving those so bad right now. I enjoyed the rest of this banana as much as LeBron would. Then I played some video games with my son, Boba. I love him so much. To distress and get my mind off work. One of the Blue Zone ways to distress is to plan a happy hour. Theirs typically involves wine. Mine involves NHL and um, some- Kale chips, anyone? No? Thought so. I took out this bowl thinking it would overflow, but here we are halfway full, crazy. I feel healthy, but also betrayed. I definitely appreciate a good potato chip right now. Have you ever seen a gamer with kale chips? What's next? Panda Express serving cauliflower rice? 
I don't know if it's too early to say, but I actually feel great right now. From the moment I've woken up to right now, I felt the same. I've had no energy dips, no brain fog, just feeling fantastic. Also, interesting to note, it is currently 524 and I've yet to have lunch, which is insane coming from a guy who I do not miss too many meals. Um, I know what I said about my snack, but I haven't had anything called lunch and labels are important, you know? Uh, but definitely the high quality foods is making my appetite kind of a lot lower and just kind of stay at bay versus just being hungry all the time, which is pretty interesting. Well, for dinner tonight, I'm eating like a divorced dad building his revenge body. This is just so plain and basic. I literally used salt for the entire thing. This is like every chain restaurant's healthy menu option. We have chicken breast, butternut squash, and avocado. I would love to add some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I would love to add some Mio in my water. It's really starting to make me realize how many little things I add to all my meals that have a bunch of crap in it. And it's very concerning, it's kind of scary. I did not hit my protein quota. It is super difficult, but we will find a way. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We have a pro, but unfortunately, we also have a con. The pro is, my gut feels like it's working its dream job. I have no bloat, bathroom trips are frequent and phenomenal. The con is, I had a hard time sleeping last night. My head was pounding, and I still have a very bad headache right now. I think I'm going through withdrawal from something, or a lot of things. I think I'm starting to know what the American Prohibition felt like. But, I have a plan that I think will change the game for me. But before we do that, let's go have some breakfast. Forget the gym. We should have grocery store natty or nots. Like, look at the size of this thing. Am I the only one who's just in complete shock by this grapefruit? It was even too big for my morning routine. Like, this is a grapefruit that I think the rock would use. It feels juicy. Might need a lifeguard here. Wow. Feels like I'm cutting a steak. Oh, it's sour. And it's so juicy. It's like half fruit. Half squirt gun. Mmm. Yesterday, I picked up this thing that's all natural and has a lot of good stuff in here that's good for your, your health. Lots of seeds. There's chia in there, which I think does something for you. It tastes all natural, that's for sure. Oh, I know what this thing needs. I'm telling you, the Whole Foods fresh nut butters. You guys wanna see a magic trick? Put this on anything and, and I'll make it disappear. It brings out the dog in me. Mm -hmm. I'm just thankful coffee is natural because otherwise I really don't know what state I'd be in right now. Remember when I said I had a plan? Well, I've been craving cake. Today's specifically a baked one and I feel like cakes can solve all of our problems, especially my insane headache. So we're gonna be making a carrot cake, which is the best cake of all time. I've never had an all natural carrot cake before. This recipe has tahini in it, and I don't know how me and Boba feel about that. Like we are kind of nervous about it, but Monique, the one who created this recipe said it's really good. So we are gonna trust her, aren't we Boba? Yeah, he doesn't feel good about it. While we make this carrot cake, let's talk a little bit about Shopify, a commerce platform that allows you to start, grow, and manage your business. Look. I can't even trust myself to brush my teeth most days. How can you expect me to run a business? Well, Shopify makes it easy. It's allowed me to grow and scale my protein business, be a good bakery, and my merch line, Willpower. So we're gonna add the tahini now to the wet. <laughs> Boba, I know, man, I, I know. We've added our dry to our wet, and now it's time to mix it up. So whether you're a one-man show or a larger operation, Shopify provides entrepreneurs with resources that are usually reserved for bigger businesses, empowering more entrepreneurs than anyone else in the world. I really don't know how I feel about this, but we're gonna roll with it. Shopify allows you to sell online, in person, or across major social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. One thing I love about Shopify is the analytics it provides. It allows me to better understand my customers so I can optimize my storefront. I can see where in the world they live, what platform they're coming from, and what they're buying or not buying. Oh, this cake is dumb thick. So if starting a business has been something that you've always wanted to do, go to this link to get your free trial of Shopify today. Shopify.com slash Will Tennyson. All right, which piece do you want? Corn Damn. So I didn't really realize that, I mean, I did, I did know cream cheese is not natural, but then I didn't realize that we couldn't put icing on the cake. 
Ah. Which, I mean, damn. This is distractingly ugly. Griffin needs icing. Give me a minute. Oh, okay. This might sound stupid. It's not going to, but like carrot cake doesn't just taste like carrots. This just tastes like carrots. Yeah. It has potential. It's just you put too many carrots. It has potential. It's this good. is like a lost cause. Yeah, because you used to be vegan, so your your standards are pretty low. Yeah, I don't know if I'm even gonna finish it. That's why it's healthy. It needs that cream cheese bukkake. What's up, bukkake? Day four. Woke up this morning feeling unusually light. 197.2 pounds, so I'm down a full pound. I actually thought it was gonna be a lot more than that, but I guess it's because my food volume has just dropped significantly because for the most part, all natural foods are much more dense in calories, which is why I'm feeling extremely empty and light, which is not necessarily a bad feeling, but I'm just not used to it. The thing that I'm most interested to document is my skin. So my forehead, I had some breakouts on day one. It's already starting to clear up and kind of flatten up a bit. But the big one for me is the redness on the sides of my face. I have something called keratosis pilaris. It's not something that'll ever go away, but I feel like with a proper diet, you can kind of just maintain it and not make it as bad. Uh, usually when I eat, like it gets really flared up and when I train, it flares up a lot, but I feel like it's quite like down, quite like pretty, it's pretty good right now. And I'm super happy about that because I'm pretty self-conscious about it. But for the most part, like every single day, all day, this is like a lot more even of a complexion, which is pretty awesome and it's making me feel like I'm never gonna have chemicals ever again. I feel good, like good, good. Headache is pretty much all gone. I usually flush a lot, like my skin gets really red when I train, but right now it's actually pretty good. I haven't had artificial sweeteners at all this week. My caffeine consumption has gone down drastically because I've had no pre-workout or energy drinks. I've had such a wide variety of protein this week. Usually I just have like Greek yogurt, chicken breast, turkey, but I've actually had so much red meat this week. Katie says I smell like a butcher. Cattle king incoming. <laughs> also, I've just been having so many good fats. Usually I just focus on protein, low calorie, just so I can kind of stay lean and just have a lot more food so I can stay full. Uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but this week I'm focusing not only on all those things, but also the health factors of all these foods. And I'm so surprised the difference that I'm already noticing. Here's a quick physique update after eating all natural for the past three days. Once I got home, I made another snack, chocolate avocado peanut butter pudding. All it contains is one and a half avocados, one used banana, then half a cup of cocoa powder, peanut butter, and maple syrup. There is a scary amount of good calories in this pudding. I was actually getting anxious pouring the maple syrup in it but it smells surprisingly chocolatey. Mm. I swear, putting avocado in a dessert is like wearing a swimsuit in a snowstorm. It's just, it's a bold choice. I'm wondering if I could detect it though. Oh, wow. Oh my God. It tastes like the shredded childhood I never had. 10 out of 10. Once a week, we go out for a date night because we're married and that's just how we keep that, that, that flame going. That's, I think that's what they say. But our typical spots that we go to are not conducive to my mission this week because they are definitely not all natural. But I think I have an idea of where to go. So I'm gonna bring you along date night with us. Just the dinner, not the rest of the night. She would never allow it. I will. We went to Freshie, so I actually DM'd them before going to see if I could go here and they never responded. So uh, here I am. I decided to build my own bowl. My biggest concern was if the protein was processed, but I stumbled upon a Twitter battle between Scotty Bowman and Freshie that went something like this. I think Freshies should change their name, as processed meat is not fresh at all. Start using real meat and I will come back as a cust, period. At Scotty Bowman, we don't use processed chicken at all. We use all natural chicken breasts free from hormones and antibiotics. Safe to say, Scotty got dunked on and it was enough to reassure me of my choices. If you ever see me out in public for dinner and I've ordered something like this, that is an SOS call for you to call the police and help me because I have been abducted. I mean, the fact that they said this steak is all natural, Something can't be right. Something is not adding up. But um, this meal looks drier than my soul. However, it's all natural. So it's, it's all part of the plan. I will say, even going to like healthy restaurants like this, it's pretty hard to stay on track being all natural. You might think everything's great here, but it's far from it. Like I choose olive oil for my sauce. So this is my dinner. Um, I'm gonna try to enjoy it. And yeah. 
decided to do a home workout today. Unfortunately, my headache is back. Not nearly as bad, but it's still back and that kind of sucks. But today is the first day where my mood is actually pretty good. The first couple of days I was kind of snappy and agitated. Things were irritating me that wouldn't normally, which is kind of concerning. Uh, but on the plus side, I have no gas, I have no bloating, and I rarely ever crave sweet things, rarely ever. But I was craving ice cream for the past couple of days. And those cravings are pretty much all gone. I think I was just going through like sugar withdrawal. I don't even have sugar. I think it's just the artificial sweeteners and I was just craving sugar, but those are all gone. On the downside, I looked at my physique in the mirror and I was shook to my core because I feel like something is up. Something is not right. Like, look, like I don't feel as sharp as I usually am for me. Like I feel like I'm, I feel a little bit softer. Now I don't know if that's because I haven't been taking creatine. I was off all supplements altogether, but I don't think it works that fast. So. It could be the creatine. It could be that I'm not having anywhere near as much protein, I don't think. It could be that I'm not tracking calories. It could be a variety of different things, but I just don't feel like my normal like self. It, I just don't feel as tight and ready to go, whatever that means. I'm a hungry boy right now, and I didn't pack a snack with me, and I'm not gonna be home for a very long time. And where I am, I'm just surrounded by fast food, so there's no options for me. So I'm at the gas station right now. I'm gonna go in, shoot my shot, and see what I can get. I have one goal going into this gas station, to put something in my mouth. So I'm in the energy drink section, I see rain. Caffeine from natural sources. Does that count? I feel like we should clarify this. Okay, so I'm looking at the sunflower seeds. I don't want sunflower seeds. I'm not going to a baseball game. I'm going to work right now. And um, yeah, you think it's just seeds, but there is a long list of ingredients. Can't do it. Well, I can't do anything here. I was having no luck in the gas station and I was getting hungrier by the minute. Even the gas station hot dogs looked appetizing. I have no idea why they're great. But then I spotted the refrigerated section that I believe is probably gonna be my only option. You gotta be kidding me. Who buys fruit at a gas station? Tell me. Literally nobody does. I spent five dollars and fifty cents on literally quarter of an apple, and I think I believe like five grapes. <laughs> that is robbery. I should have just not got anything. Let's not talk about it. Boba sit. Boba paw. Boba paw. Good paw. There you go. I have his number in the description. But boba has actually a ton of all natural snacks. Like this is just literally straight dehydrated chicken breast. Well, I could hopefully it's not have something like this, but it had me wondering, I may as well try it. I've been looking for some high protein snack. <laughs> Can I have a piece? Yeah, it just, just looks like that. Yeah, it's pretty decent. A little bit of a canine flair to it, but I've had a lot of dog food and that's pretty, pretty decent. Boba sit, boba squat, I'm just kidding, he can't do that yet. Breakfast is where I am mourning the loss of my loved ones the most. Not my family. Actually, you know what, you can probably make a case for it, but what I mean is my sugar-free syrup, my rice cakes, my egg whites in a carton. I did not know that's not natural. I don't wanna be cracking eggs individually and doing this with the yolks, you know what I mean? And my beloved Greek yogurt, look at this. The seal, it's still there. I can't, I'm, I'm really missing my old ways, especially in the morning. And then once the day progresses, it gets a little bit easier for me. We're having beef again. Oh. Having dinner for breakfast again. I'm all out of eggs, didn't wanna go get them. So we have ground beef, veggies, potato is in the oven. Usually I wake up and I'm like pretty hungry. I usually wait 40 minutes and then I'll make breakfast. Now, the past couple of days I've been having breakfast at like 11.30, which is insane. I have no appetite at all in the morning. And then once I have breakfast, I'm like not hungry the rest of the day. I feel like I'm actually forcing food down. And that's just because I think the meals are way more substantial in like nutrients and especially fat. So I'm not used to having a very, very high fat meal in the morning. Oh. I really don't know if I can maintain this lifestyle. I feel like it's, I'm almost on like the, the too intense side of the spectrum of the all natural stuff. I feel like things like the egg whites, Greek yogurt should be okay, but I'm just trying to take this extra seriously, but I already know once this is done, I'm gonna have to start incorporating some stuff back in. However, it has certainly opened my eyes and uh, makes me want to reduce some of the crap I've been eating because 
it is kind of scary. It is really scary. I haven't been tracking calories all week, but I decided to track my breakfast just to kind of see where I'm at. And my typical breakfast is around 400 calories, which is my protein sludge bowl, which I love and I miss very much. Uh, but this breakfast right here is 709 calories. Now I'm gonna put the macros and everything and the breakdowns of both breakfasts on the screen. And as you will see, this breakfast is much more balanced and there's also a ton more fiber. I think like almost quadruple the amount of fiber, which is definitely why it's keeping me full and substantially more fat. Dropped another bag at Whole Foods. All I know is if I kept this up for a couple months, Will Jr. would definitely need a scholarship. But this whole entire week, I've been working on bettering my insides, bettering my health. I might as well become a better husband. So I said, hey, Katie, dinner duty, just, just give it to me tonight. So I am making some homemade turkey burgers. No bun, of course. I'd rather choke on the meat than do lettuce wrap, so don't even suggest that. Got some of the homemade Whole Foods guacamole. We're gonna saute up some onions and mushrooms and rosemary. And then I also bought this half natty sweet potato that I'm gonna dice up to make some homemade sweet potato fries. One of the nice benefits of this week, and I didn't anticipate it, was Katie and I actually get to eat together, make the same meal together. Usually I do my own thing to meet my protein and calorie needs, so we cook separately. But now this entire week, we've just been having fun, making snacks together, creating dinner together. It's just been such a good experience and something that I want to continue after this week. So she's getting home in like half an hour. I better get cooking. Got the turkey burgers there, over here. Got the onions and mushrooms sauteing. And then we're definitely gonna have to use our imagination here to make sure that these taste like actual fried sweet potatoes. And then we're also gonna have to use our imagination that we have ketchup because we can't eat ketchup. Day seven was more of the same thing, a delicious all natural breakfast, great lift, and more fun snacks like these peanut butter date squares that the wifey made for me. We even made our own coconut milk from scratch, which was such a long process for so little in return. But as you can see, I stayed positive the entire time. I ended up losing roughly two and a half pounds this week, which was kind of unexpected. I feel like I lost probably a lot of bloat from having no artificial sweeteners and other crap the entire week. Definitely don't think I could sustain this diet to the degree I went long-term. It was just incredibly limiting for me. However, it did inspire me to start wanting to reduce some of the crap I have on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So I would say this week has been a major win for me. It's pretty crazy the lengths that I typically go to find these like diet hack foods, make these massive volume meals to keep me full only for it to keep me hungry all the time. And then the second I lower the volume, focus on the better quality, not only was I fuller, but I also felt better. My energy was better, my gut felt good, and in return, my skin, I feel like has a really good complexion to it now. So it's just been an overall pretty good experience, an eye-opening experience. I think a lot of us kind of forget that health is about feeling good inside and out, not just only the out. So take care of yourself, be healthy, watch what you put in your body, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You looking at me like it ain't a receipt, like I never made ends meet. Metador, metador, head of door knocking, let him in. Who's that genitals?